Hello viewers and welcome to part two of the Volstock Electronics a lap timing system. This is part two of a part three series. In the first part we did the unboxing of the of the decoder box that we have right here. Uh, we did an inspection of what it came with, everything in the box, and this part two is uh, putting it together and seeing how it works. Uh, so what I did and how I installed mine is I just used the supplied USB cable went from the output of the USB of the decoder box into a USB port in my laptop I have Windows 10 I connected my power supply 12 volt 3 amp and I con connected the coax cable to the decoder box and they give you Included in the box with a small piece of timing loop. There's a couple little connectors there that you could connect it with um, When I plugged in the USB I'm going to open up device manager and when I plugged in the USB you can see here USB serial port COM5 and where the COM5 the communications port 5 comes in you can see there's a COM1 and a COM5 this computer has a a serial port on the back so there's already a communication port one and this called it um, communication port five and that's important when you go to software and you register your decoder and we'll see where that plays in here in a second so the software that I use is live RC and you can see here I picked connection type USB serial and I picked COM port COM5 and I'm using the MyLaps Enhanced Decoder. And it works as an AMB RC decoder box. I think in the communication section, it'll show that it is uh, pinging. See, there's records in here. You can see that the USB box is pinging um, about once a minute or once every five seconds to say it's there. And on this software, it shows a, a green connection to show that it's connected. I put it into practice mode. And I'll just wave my car over it, over the loop. Great lock. And you can see that waving it over the loop uh, shows that the decoder is indeed working. And on the front of it, probably hard to see in the video is a small display it shows in the manual what the display means uh, one number is how many hits it did as it went over my loop and then there's a number in the top right corner it shows like the noise level and it sh they say it should be around less than 12 and I think mine's flashing at around 2 or 4 so there it is the first test of the decoder box so part three will be, we're going to install uh, the live loop. It did come with two loops. One is the, the little uh, test loop. And it comes with the full size loop that you bury under your track. And we're going to try that in the next video. So stay tuned for part three.